our journey through Japan's largest prefecture, Hokkaido, begins at Obihiro in the Tokachi Plain. We head east via the Nemuro Line to its terminus, Nemuro Station. The expansive Tokachi Plain is known as Japan's food base. Work on the year's crops begins with the arrival of spring. Many travelers visit the area to savor freshly caught seasonal delicacies from the seas around Hokkaido. The area is also known for wine production. Put down those books and devices and look outside for a rare chance to see wildlife up close. You may even catch a glimpse of one of the world's rarest crane species. Let's train crews through eastern Hokkaido in May, when spring finally arrives in Japan's northern nature wonderland. Tokachi Obihiro Airport. The gateway to the region is an hour and 45 minute flight from Tokyo. Before we head into town, let's visit a disused train station, which stands close by. The station's name, Koshuku, means happiness, so the station attracted many visitors. The old Obihiro line and Kofuku station closed in 1987, but the steady stream of visitors continues. Available for purchase are old-style train tickets with the station's name stylized into the phrase, bound for happiness from the land of love. Many visitors write their wishes of love and happiness on the tickets and stick them on the walls. At its peak, Hokkaido's railway network stretched 4,000 kilometers, but now just over half of that is still in use. Some of the decommissioned stations and lines have been left as they were. Obihiro is located in the middle of the Tokachi Plain and has a population of over 160,000. The eponymous train station stands in the center of town. The departing train is an express bound for Hokkaido's largest city, Sapporo, but we're going the other direction. Uh, and here's our ride, a local train that debuted on the Nemuro Line in 2022. This H100 series train has a diesel engine that drives a generator, which in turn powers an electric traction motor. Operating throughout Hokkaido, this series of trains is nicknamed Tecmo, which stands for Diesel Electric Car with Motors.
The heaters under the seats operate even in May because it's still a bit chilly. We head east, and our first stop is Ikeda, a little town around 20 kilometers away, surrounded by farmland. The railroad is a major mode of transport for residents in the Obihiro area. Even so, during the morning rush, only two trains run an hour. The fields in Tokachi are famous for producing a wide variety of grains and vegetables, especially potatoes, corn, and azuki beans. The area is often referred to as Japan's food base. At this time of year, the Tokachi River is swollen with runoff from melted snow. blossoms flower in every corner of the country. But here, in Hokkaido's east, they bloom last, from mid to late May, much, much later than other major cities in Japan. We will soon be arriving at Ikeda, the final stop. Ikeda has a population of over 6,000, and 60 years ago was the first municipality in Japan to start wine production. Wine Castle, the town symbol, was modeled on medieval European fortresses. It is the base of Tokachi wine production. はい。Crimson Glory vine grows naturally in Ikeda, and 60 years ago, it was improved and cultivated, and the fruit successfully used to make wine. The wine has gone on to receive multiple awards at international competitions. This 
this wine has pride of place. The Queen was served other wines from across Japan as well. Let's catch our breath before resuming our trip. The Furusato Ginga Line once ran 140 kilometers north from Ikeda Station to Kitami. It opened in 1910 to transport lumber from the mountains and later served the local residents. Much to their dismay, it was discontinued in 2006. 25年間ですね通ってこのレシャーとして。The small township of Rikubetsu, with a population of 2,200, is located in the middle of the line. Local businesses and organizations contribute to the upkeep of the old trains and station, which is open to the public. Sugimoto Takemasa works to conserve the history of the facility. えっと、こちらがあの、1909年に製造されまして、北海道で一番古いと言われている転車台です。これはあの、ライナーといって、あの、線路を補正するための since the Furusato Ginga Line was the only mode of public transport in Rikubetsu, it held a special place in the hearts of local residents. When its closure was announced, many called for the valuable history to be preserved. The project to convert it into a tourist attraction, which included the repainting of the carriages, took two years to complete. In fact, all the engines here are in working order. This engine carries a large motor and heater despite looking quite compact. It is exclusive to the Furusato Ginga line, so rail fans must come here to view it. Anyone 18 or over can try their hand at driving this engine. Mm -hmm. 
an ex-driver shows you how to operate it. Visitors can drive the engine along 5.7 kilometers of the original track that carried passengers. The opportunity draws rail fans from around the country. ありがとうございました。あ、これ捕まえるわ。とても楽しかったです。乗ったのは初めてです。いや、何回か来てますね。ちなみにどちらから乗ったのか。東京から来ました。移動車を運転できるところ多分他にないですね。うまく運転できまし
His goal? Beer. From inception, it took him five years to finally produce a brew he was happy with. In summer, he runs a one-day-only beer garden in front of Tohofutsu Station, and on that day, the trains are full of passengers. Ogasawara also started a guest house in front of the station, and his efforts are producing modest results. Some guests are so taken by the tranquility that they stay for a whole month. なかなか our next stop is a port city about 100 kilometers away. minutes from Tofu's station and we leave the Tokachi plane behind. The expanse of the Pacific Ocean spreads fast before us. The city of Kushiro has a population of 160,000 and has long prospered on fishing and industry. The sunset in Kushiro is not to be missed. The fishers here consider it a perk of the job. Kushido's annual hall is one of the largest in Japan. Residents shop at the market right by the station to snack the best seafood from the northern waters. The market usually offers over 100 varieties of seafood, mostly caught near Kushido. It 
gives tourists a chance to enjoy local delicacies on the go. First, you buy the rice. Then you go around and buy seafood that catches your eye to put it on top. A seafood rice bowl just the way you like it. Dig in. <laughs> if you love seafood and want to get the best, make sure you stop here on your trip. From Kushiro, the line is called the Hanasaki Line after a locale along the way. The view from the window is popular as one of the best of all the rail lines in Hokkaido. Here, we change trains to a Kiha 54 series rail car that was manufactured close to 40 years ago. Summers in this part of Hokkaido are mild, so there are fans to cool the interior rather than air conditioning. In winter, the temperatures drop below minus 20 degrees Celsius, so the windows are double paned. The Hanasaki Line has an app which you can download to your phone for explanations of points of interest along the way. Trains on this line run through forests, wetlands, and along the sea coast, offering an excellent view of the variety of changing scenery that eastern Hokkaido is host to. Magnificent expanses of wilderness stand outside the train windows, and with a bit of luck, you may catch a glimpse of wild animals such as Yezo Sika deer, stellar sea eagles, or white-tailed eagles, all while aboard the train. The Yezo deer mostly inhabit the eastern part of Hokkaido. Drivers blow the whistle to prevent accidents. One hour out of Kushiro, we reach the Bekambeushi wetland. Known as a bird paradise, the expansive wetland has an area of 8,300 hectares and could hold over 10,000 soccer fields.
The train slows to 30 kilometers per hour, less than half its usual speed. Let's hop off to check out the bird life. One of the available wetland canoe tours takes three hours. Oiso Chikara was born and raised in the area. <笑>子供の頃の遊び場だったんですよ。釣りをしたりだとか私のこの仕事は半分遊びです。そんな感じですね。うぐいすも今泣いてますけど。<笑> <そんな感じですね。笑> The white-tailed eagle, which has a wingspan of about two meters, has been designated a natural monument of Japan. この川岸はヨシっていう植物が成長してきて、2メートルぐらいまで伸びてくるんですけれども。And today, we're in luck. The red-crowned crane is on the red list of endangered species, and there are only about 3,000 worldwide. Come spring, the cranes can be seen protecting their nests and eggs. Both parents take turns warming the eggs until they hatch a month later. It's common to see the parents with their chicks when the weather warms and the wetland turns green. The chicks are easy prey for eagles and foxes, but the reeds allow them to hide, making these wetlands the ideal location for the cranes to raise their young. The trains on the Hanasaki line zip through this natural wonderland. この辺って本当にもうズブズブは、あの上陸したら膝ぐらいまで埋まってしまうようなところなんですけども、100年以上も前に技術も機械もないような時にこの足場の悪い出現にこの天路を通したっていうのがすごいな。
out of the wetland and into pastures. This is Japan's largest dairy farming area, and the cows outnumber the humans. Atoko Station stands in the middle of Dairyland. Only 12 trains per day stop at this unstaffed station. Another train line once departed from here. One man gave the old tracks new life. Konnichiwa. Ito Yasumichi runs a farm. Ito wanted to attract more people to Atoko, so he turned his attention to the abandoned line and created hiking trails for people to enjoy the surrounding nature. Ito had the railway bridge upgraded for inclusion in the trail. Inspired by Ito's initiative, there are now 10 trails that cover 76 kilometers. Visitors can even walk the pastures. Dairy farmers took the lead in creating the trails bit by bit when their work allowed. They even incorporated locations along the way where visitors can interact with the livestock, and families love them. Atoko Station itself is a popular attraction in the area. Not even 10 people a day use the unstaffed station. But it has a street piano that anyone can play. It was installed in 2019 by the local residents to give visitors some enjoyment. Some pianists visit specifically to video their performances and upload them on social networks. The tinkling of the ivories even attracts people who don't need to board a train.
Hokkaido, the Hanasaki Line's terminal in the end of our 263 kilometer rail journey. A 50 minute bus ride further east from the station takes you to Cape Nosapu. It's a popular spot to view the sunrise. Thanks to the passion of locals who preserve its history and vitality, this rail line in eastern Hokkaido continues to awe travelers with the wonders of nature and the changing seasons.